Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is toasted hazelnut, and I'm going to have it with some chocolate creamer. It's one of my favorite combinations. So um, that's what I'm having this morning, and I always try and keep some hazelnut coffee on hand. So today's high is going to be 82. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's supposed to be a beautiful week. Um, the highest the temperature is going to go from what the forecast looks like is 85. So that's, uh, that's about the cap on my comfort zone as far as working in the garden in the sun. In the shade, it's fine. But in the sun, it gets a little too warm for me. So I'm, I'm glad I've gotten the things done in the garden that I have. Um, some of the things I'm going to put off until spring, like rearranging the rest of the fence. I did the main part that I wanted to get accomplished. I got that done. But for now, until I can get some mulch, I've decided to hold off on that until spring too. Um, the area that I had planned to let the dogs in, I'm going to keep them out of there because that's going to be muddy after a while. But I am going to um, mulch it in the spring. There's no point to doing it now and then by spring I'll have to do it again. So it would be double work. So, uh, my two grandsons are supposed to come over tomorrow and help finish up a couple of little things that I want to move around, so I'm thankful for that. I already talked to them about it, and they said, sure, you know. Um, so, the garden work is coming to an end for now because most of the other things I'll just have to set up in the spring. Like I have a garden bench that I want to put up and um, a potting bench. And I want to put a little bit, just a tiny summer kitchen on my deck. I'll put my pizza oven out there and my grill and uh, just things like that. There's no need for them to be out in the winter weather. So, it's kind of a, an ebb and flow with the garden. Um, every year is a learning experience for me. I learn what grows well, what doesn't, and then I try different plants every year. So, we'll see. But I have cut down on the um, amount of plants that I'm going to be putting out. So I forgot to put the baking soda in here this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just a bit. I don't know if that's too much, but it seems to make it a little less acidic. So I just keep the baking soda in a jar here by the coffee pot. going to be doing a couple things inside before I go out because it's still kind of chilly out there. Cheers. I could go out there and work and, you know, put a shirt on, long sleeve shirt, but I have some things I want to do inside. Did I say cheers? I think I did. So, um, yep. Not much else going on here this morning. Uh, I'm having to clean my garage soon, so I'll move from the garden to the garage, and then the outside will be okay. And then I have to start doing things inside because by the end of the year, I would like to have a more organized house. And then uh, next year, of course, I'll start going through my cupboards again and purging more things. I do that every year because I do buy new things, too, um, but not like I used to. 
so I have pretty much what I want and what I need and the excess I'm going to share with other people and hopefully they can find use in some of the things that I can't use anymore because everything I have is in really good shape. So, all right. Well, I will meet you over there at the budget book shortly. Here I am back at my budget book. So, yesterday I had to take my mom shopping. So, uh, she got her groceries and then I bought a few things too. So, I did spend money. Aldi's had this little cart on wheels. Uh, it, it's like a platform, like a, almost like a small dolly. And it was $14.99, I think. I think that's what I paid. And it was, uh, I bought it because I want to get the generator. And this was just the perfect size to put a heavy generator on. And it seemed pretty sturdy. So it's on wheels, and I, that way it would be easier for me to wheel a generator from place to place. So I did get that. I didn't get much in the way of groceries at all. I got uh, that flatbread pizza that was really, really good that I ate yesterday for dinner. And uh, some cheese. I like their pack of cheese where they have the four different kinds. They have Gouda and Havarti and Cheddar and Asiago, all in the same pack. And it's like $4 and something for the whole pack. So I like that because it gives me a variety of cheeses. I gave up eating cheese for a while um, because I do love cheese. But... I started eating the vegan cheeses, and they've come a long way since then, but um, I noticed that the vegan cheeses are mostly fat, and they don't have a whole lot of protein in them, and when you're vegetarian, you, you know, you need all the protein that you can get from other foods, so uh, I went back to eating cheese instead of... Uh, vegan cheese. So that's one thing that I do eat as a vegetarian is cheese and I do eat eggs because my daughter has chickens and she gives me eggs. So um, they're very, very good. Anyway, um, yeah, I didn't buy too much at all at Aldi's. I don't really need anything in the way of groceries. I have produce and I have fruit I have all those things, so um, I kept it on the low spent, but I did spend money. So I'm going to be looking more today online for a generator, and then I think I want to go to maybe uh, Home Depot and Harbor Freight and see what they have to offer and the prices. So I appreciate all the good suggestions in the comments. And if you have any suggestions of what works for you as far as a generator goes, leave it in the comments because I know some of you are also looking for a generator. And for the cost of them, you don't really want to make a mistake and have something that doesn't really fit your needs. I actually have several in my Amazon cart that I wanted to put there to save. And then um, as I do more search and research, I'll delete those out of the cart. And hopefully, if that's the route I want to go to buy one, I'll narrow it down to one. So that's going to be a big expense. And tomorrow... Um, I'm going to have my basement plumbing fixed, hopefully, um, so that that's going to be a big expense, too. 
And I'm glad now that the deck is not being done. Well, I, I was kind of glad anyway. He's holding off till spring. And I'm glad about that because I did buy windows, three of them, this year, and I really didn't want to do both. But that's the time he said he had originally, but then he got really busy doing his roofing jobs, which is his main <clears throat> His main business is the roofing, so um, that's okay. Waiting till spring works perfectly fine for me, and that will be my big expense for next year. So, you know, when you're on a lower income, it's hard to get everything done that you need. And with my house, it seems like after 21 years, everything kind of came due to fix at once. So it's hard to do that and maintain your home when you're on a low limited income and you have these big repair jobs coming up that kind of run in the thousands of dollars. And you don't want to totally deplete your, um, your sinking fund or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I don't do the Dave Ramsey thing. I've got my own system going here that seems to work for me. But, you know, you can't save the money up fast enough that, um, you you know, you have to deplete some of your savings. So, but, and then I've been putting $100 a month into my Christmas fund so that I don't have that stress come Christmas time of gift giving. You know, it'll be so much easier. So I'm glad I did that and hopefully every year, unless the economy gets even worse, which it probably will, um, I'll be able to maintain doing that throughout the years. So, yeah, this economy is just not good. And um, if things keep on the way they are, a lot of people are going to have to really, really tighten their belt even more. And, um, you know, I mean, some older people have to make the choice between medications and uh, food, which is terrible. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a clown show, that's for sure. So, all right, well, I'm going to just sit here and enjoy my coffee for a little bit and um, read some inspirational quotes. And then I'm going to go put on my garden gloves and go do something out there. All right, I thought I'd have my relaxing coffee cup with you this morning, so cheers again. I've been eating breakfast a little earlier so that I can just get out in the garden and not have to worry about being hungry until dinner. So today I, <clears throat> I'm going to eat the soup that I had in the freezer since I'm still trying to cook down my my freezers. Oh my god, it's just been such a project. But, you know, when you cook something and you cook more than one serving, which, you know, that's really hard to do if you're a single person unless you have, like, a protein, a, a starch, and a vegetable every meal, and you don't make combination meals like stews and soups and, and um, you know, just things along those lines. It's really hard to cook for one person. So, of course, what I do then is I freeze what I have. So, even though I've taken something out of the freezer, I'm putting two things in the freezer because I might have two containers. So, I try and find containers that are um, suitable for one person and even if you're a couple you can do this uh, you know if you make something like a serving for four and you only eat one serving or you eat two servings and you freeze the other two 
making them in single person uh, portions is really nice because let's say you have a husband or a child that lives with you, one or the other. This way you can take whatever meal that you want and they can take whatever frozen meal they want. And, um, you know, it, it works for two people that way too. But yeah, that's kind of, kind of the MO with my freezer. You know, I take one thing out, make something, and then have to freeze a couple more portions. So I'm trying to still, after what, two years, still trying to cook down my freezer. And honestly, I have not been buying that much freezer food. Um, you know, I haven't been stocking up on the freezer or anything. I've been stocking on canned goods and stocking on um, commodities like flour and, you know, sugar, pasta, rice. But that stuff doesn't need to be in the freezer. So, yeah, I mean, I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful to the Lord for providing me with all this food. I'm, I'm not complaining by any stretch of the imagination, but it does make it a little difficult when you can't put one more thing into your freezer unless you take something out. So there are certain things that I do replenish, like there's certain, um, you know, frozen french fries. When I run out of those, I'll replenish those or some of the vegan meats that I eat, uh, the faux meats. I know some people crinkle their nose up at that, but I actually like some of them. So, And I know, I know, they're not the healthiest sometimes, but I do read the ingredients, so I try not to get anything too crazy. But, um, so things like that I do replenish. So, anyway, I wasn't planning on talking about my freezer, but it just kind of happened that way. And uh, I, I wanted to read a little quote and maybe talk about that for a little bit. Um, so, I'm trying to find a quote here. Um, Dr. Wayne Dyer says... If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change, which is true. That even goes for the way you look at people. Sometimes if you look at them a different way, um, you, you might change your mind on what you think of them um, or how you interact with them. So... You know, I, I try and do that with, there's very few people that I have a hard time getting along with, <laughs> but there are one or two that um, I do my best, you know, and I try not to cause trouble with those people. I just have minimum contact with them, and like I said, there's only one or two, um, so the rest of them... I kind of haven't even bothered to forge a relationship with, you know, if, if I just don't have the same values as that person or the same, um, if there's a big potential for a lot of strife because I don't look at life the way they do, it's best not to even start a friendship or a relationship with people that you feel that way about, but you can look at them in a different light and wish them well, and if you do have to interact with them, you know, you might want to look at them a little differently and see if that doesn't work. So, actually, I was looking for a quote, um, okay, here's one. Strive for progress, not perfection. Now, I really like that one. And that was an anonymous quote. I may have read that one before, but it kind of kind of goes with what I'm doing today. <clears throat> so what I'm doing, usually when I have 
something that I want to get done. I'll take my garden as an example since that's what I've been working on. I'll write out the different things I want to accomplish and you know <clears throat> how I want to do that. Do I need any any additional things to be able to accomplish that goal? Um, so I write all that down but what I'm doing today while I'm sitting here, I'm actually writing down the projects that I want to get done, like this month and next month, and the next project. And I'm writing them in order of how I need to accomplish getting that stuff done. Otherwise, I'm kind of all over the place, and then I'll work on this, and then I'll work on that. Not that I don't do that anyway, but I don't want to leave a big project incomplete and then go start a whole nother big project. You know, little things are okay. If I can accomplish that within a day or so, that's all right. So the projects for this fall, of course, is the garden cleanup. So I'm continuing to do that, making good progress. I feel good about that. Uh, next month, I'll start covering up most of my furniture on the deck. After the first frost, I'll pull the flowers out. Um, I'm leaving them until then, and hopefully it doesn't turn super cold right away, so that even after the first frost, there'll be a few nice days where I can go out there and do that. But that wouldn't take me more than a few hours just to pull out the dead flowers. So for September and October, the garden cleanup is my main priority because getting those things done is time sensitive. So if you're doing projects, you might want to think about which project is time sensitive and get that one accomplished first. So having it written down, it kind of draws me back to what I originally had envisioned that I wanted to accomplish. And that works out pretty well for me. So another, once I get the garden cleaned up, which is getting there, I don't have a whole lot more that I want to do this fall. Uh, after that, I bought paint in the spring, and I had every intention of painting my front door for the summer. Never got around to it because I was in the garden and doing other things. I did some house purging, which really I didn't have to do until the weather turned bad. So, like I said, I kind of, I'm all over the place if I don't have a plan in my head of what I want to accomplish. So, I never did get around to painting the front port, uh, the front door. So, that's one thing I want to accomplish in September and October. So, that will be my next project. I'll paint my front door, and then I also want to put some fall decorations out on my front porch. I have quite a few fall decorations up in my attic, so I'll go up there and pull a couple down. I want to get a couple of mums just for the planter boxes. I may even look for some fake mums, I don't know. But I also want to, my hanging baskets, which I have there all year round, I want to put some fall colors in there, which will be, I have already gathered the flowers. My neighbor gave me a bunch of them that she wasn't using. She ordered them and then she didn't like them, so, but they were the perfect color for me. Since my shutters are blue, um, they're blue and white and orange, so that's going to be my color scheme for the fall on the front porch. And I have a lot of weeding that I need to do in the, in the flower beds. So that will be my next project. And I was going to do the garage, but see, I forgot about the door. So that needs to be done before the weather turns too cold so that the paint dries correctly. So that'll be my next project. And then, then after that, like in October, I'll put a jacket on and go work in my garage since it's attached to my house. It's usually warm out there. 
and if not, I have a couple of electric heaters I can turn on just to take the chill off. So that will be my last project for the fall. And then by then, it'll be probably Christmas coming up. So um, I'll start decorating for Christmas. So, and then I'll have a whole nother list of things that I want to accomplish during the winter after Christmas. I'm not going to be starting big projects around Christmas time. Um, one of the projects that I want to do, one of the main things is, uh, and I've mentioned it before, is organize my uh, prepper pantry. <clears throat> now, most of the equipment that I have for prepping is in the garage, but the, the food part is in a different part of the house, so um, that's one thing that I'll work on until I'm done with it this winter after Christmas. And then I'll probably start on the purging again, purging and organizing. That'll be my late winter project, mid to late winter project, and um, then we go back to the first thing in the spring I'll be going back to the garden and setting up some of the things that I gathered for the garden for the spring and summer. So that's what I'm going to do and um, so I'm going to sit here and finish my coffee, finish my list and I'll be with you in a little bit when I go out in the garden. Today I'm going to work on this area a little bit. I've got lots of weeds growing here. These pots originally I wanted to use for um, mint, which I still have growing over there. So I want to plant the mint in these pots and pull some of these weeds. Not, not a big job, but still needs to be done. And then in the spring, I'm going to mulch all this area. So that's my project for the day. Not a huge project, but making some project. And here I have some water that uh, the mint was all sitting in. I pulled the mint out. I want to put that in some dirt. But I'm going to, this water smells very minty. So I'm going to pour that along the foundation over there because ants and mice don't like mint so I'm just going to pour that out over there any little thing helps to keep those buggers out I got the mint planted this doesn't have to be perfect because in the spring I'm going to put cardboard down and mulch so but for now the weeds are better I pulled all that um, ivy out of there. I really don't want it by the house. So, and I still have to do over by the air conditioner, but not today. That's a project for another day. And these chairs I need to cover yet for the winter, but I think that'll look better now. Well, I just got the idea to move this little bistro set because I never sit here. So, I'm thinking about moving it over here. I moved a couple of the stones so that this is more more of a finished area. I don't know yet where I'm going to put the fountain. Probably over where the bistro set is now. But I'm thinking of putting the bistro set right here. That way when this Redbud gets a little bigger, it'll provide some shade. So I want to give that a try and see how it looks. That way I won't have to do it in the spring. Well, I got my little bistro set moved. I don't know how much longer this is going to be around because I've had it out here for 21 years and it's starting to rust, but it's still good to, it's still sturdy, still good to sit on. So I like it over here. I still have to work on leveling these stones out in the spring. Um, it needs some stones and sand in between. So that's a project for next year. And then over here, I made this into a little area 
uh, with flowers. And then when my grandsons come over tomorrow, I'm going to have them move that pot over here. So I think that'll look nice with the fountain there and the crane. I've had him for a lot of years, too. I usually cover him with a plastic bag in the winter. But, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way this looks now. I, um, I think it'll be more functional, and I'll sit here more often. So, I think I'm going to call that good for today. I did move some of the stones around, and I hope I didn't do too much damage. So, anyway, I take it easy. I do the best I can. So, I'm just going to clean up this little bit of mess here and call that good for today. <laughs> What do you puppies want? A cheese ball? Here, Chloe. Chloe. No, it's Chloe's. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> you are so pokey. One for you. Oh, jeez. Oh, and there's my buddy. Okay, are we happy now? I'll have one, too. All right. Well, all right. It's about time for me to go take a shower Ugh, from working outside. So I feel good about what I got accomplished today. And tomorrow I'll take another section of the garden and work on that. So, but that's all I have for you today, my friends. So I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share, and thanks for watching.